Hey YouTube, so this is um, just going to be a review on two Neutrogena products, the Oil-Free Moisture for Sensitive Skin and the Transparent Facial Bar. So these two products have recently entered my skincare system as of about a uh, month and a half months ago. And as you guys probably already know, I have very, very sensitive skin, so for them to pass that test is a good sign. So basically I have a feeling that these are great for any skin type, from very sensitive to not sensitive at all. So, um, if you have sensitive skin and are worrying about if this will clog your pores or if this will um, cause a rash or something, this most likely will not. I can have. I don't have any guarantees for you, but this is non-commodogenic. Is that how you say it? It doesn't clog your pores. And so far, it has done a very good job with that. Um, I have combination skin. So my oily spots vary from the, like during the seasons, but usually where I get most oily is near my hairline, which is kind of weird, and near the sides of my noses. And what I've noticed is if you don't moisturize those areas, even though you get oily there, you're just going to get more oil and more breakouts there because skin will naturally produce more oil there if you don't moisturize it. So um, I suggest something like this to moisturize even people with oily skin. I bought this like... December, November, middle of November probably, and the packaging is really nice. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just, it looks very fresh and clean to me, like it looks very like a dermatologist would give it to you. It's just a white bottle with a pump, it, it opens, you have to twist it this way, and you close it, you twist it this way. So if you're traveling, it won't spill out. Um, it's four fluid ounces for this, I'm not sure how much this is, I'm going to guess around $10. But this stuff will last you a long time. You need literally one pump to cover your whole face. Um, if you compare this formula to the like, Cetaphil's normal body lotion, it is even thinner than Cetaphil. And I've used Cetaphil for a long, long time on my face, and I had no problems with that. And that is $9 for about, I think, 8 fluid ounces, I'm pretty sure. So if you want um, more for less, I guess, you should get that. But... This I actually recommend more just because it's a lot lighter and won't clog your pores as much. I know people with oily skin, some people can't use Cetaphil even, and that stuff is pretty light and kind of clean. So yeah, um, this is really great stuff, and basically I use it um, once at night after I wash my face after I take a shower, and then once in the morning after I wash my face under my makeup. So this works great for moisturizing. It's a wonderful product. Um, I give it like a 9.5 out of 10. Just one thing I don't like about it is the packaging kind of looks boring. I don't really know, but I like this little purple guy. It's a sensitive skin. So this is a sensitive skin oil-free moisture lotion. And I actually suggest this to anybody I meet because this will work for any type of skin. Um, for dry skin, I have some dry patches, as you know, because I have combination skin. So. Um, it works pretty well for that, but I actually suggest a more heavy-duty moisturizer if you have completely dry skin. But if you have combination skin, this would be perfect for you, as well as for oily skin. So this stuff is great. Next is the Neutrogena Original Formula Fragrance-Free Facial Bar. This is a new box. It looks like this. Um, and I have two. I'm using one right now. And just open it up, and it's literally... It says nothing on it. It's just an orange bar. That says Neutrogena all over the wrapper. And it's like, honestly, like any other transparent bar, soap bar. Um, I had one before this called Jurgens or something like that, and it was just orange and looked exactly like this, except it was like oval, and it said Jurgens. Okay, I never used my Jurgens bar that I had before. It looked almost like this for my face. Um, this has only about 10-ish ingredients, so it's pretty um, down there with the number of ingredients. And for sensitive skin, it works fine for me. Um, so what I do with my skincare is I'll use this in the morning. Just because I don't need as a heavy duty of a, um, a skin cleansing in the morning for me. Just because at night I usually use a more heavy duty cleanser just to get all the dirt that has accumulated on my face from the day. But when you wake up in the morning, you just went to sleep, and you just washed your face like eight hours ago. So I just use sort of something to wake me up and just to get any like 
small amount of dirt off my face and oil. It's very, um, it's a very clean feeling, if you like that feeling. Um, with my other cleansers I've tried and things like that, just nothing compares with the feeling of soap. I don't know why. The feeling after you've cleansed your face, like, every other cleanser except an exfoliator doesn't give you an actual clean feeling. Um, it either gives you, like, a really nice scent, but it's not really clean. Um, sometimes it'll give you a really bad scent, like chemical scent, and it's still not clean. So this just gives you a clean feeling. That's what I like in the morning, just to like, feel very clean. Um, this comes in the original formula, which is this one. And that's usually for combination or dry skin. And it also comes with an acne-prone skin formula, which is basically for oily skin. So you can choose whatever for based on what you are. And this stuff is just really great. I'd recommend this for you to use this in the morning. It's pretty cheap. It's like $5, I think. I'm not sure, though. I didn't buy this, so I'm not sure. But, yeah, my mom bought it. So, yeah, I totally recommend both of these for you to include in your skin care regimen. And um, Neutrogena is one of my top recommended brands for skin products and even for some of their makeup products. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave comments or reviews below. And if you have any requests, you are welcome to make them. So thanks for watching. Bye.